I'll guide you through how to use DSA on Shopify. So this is a full tutorial. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like and let's get right into this. So we start off on the main page of our Shopify account and we go into the apps on the left by scrolling down and opening this tab. We go and search to, uh, for our app. We, this tutorial is about Deezers and we want to find the Deezers. So we search for it, and as you can see, it opened up on the left, we select it, and we press Add App. It will load a bit and it will redirect us. You want to bind to the Deezer's account using this and this address, yes. Then it will bring us here, I want to press Install App. After I have done that, it will load for, it will load for a bit, then it will take me to, the, to my Deezer's account. And here, you will be met with this main page. I have an import list, I have imported some of my products already. We can start off by covering every section one by one. So, here in the home one, you have things that, ha that could help you work with uh, Deezers. Uh, your uh, Chrome ex extension, some tutorials, some basic information surrounding your dropshipping business, etc. Then, after you are done with this section, you can move over to Reports. In the Reports, you need to set up currency and time zone for your store, and the Report feature will be automatically turned on. Here, you can select this hyperlink, and it will show you how to use the Report feature. Another section on the left is Find Suppliers. I use this uh, section to find products to dropship. Uh, for example, on the top you, you have some of the best-selling products right now. And after you, uh, you find the product that you like for your uh, dropshipping business, you just left-click the title, it will take you to another site, and there you can take the link and add it as your product. Then you can go into Supplier Optimizer. You can add the link you just copied from the find suppliers and it could help you find better suppliers of the same product. So let's paste that and press the search button. We need to wait for it to load and analyze the pictures and find the best results for the product we just added. And as you can see, it will offer you a, a lot of different suppliers for the same product. You can short, uh, sort them by price, you can sort them by shipping price, you can sort them by sale numbers, by the delivery rate, by, the, by their rating. You can sort them through anything and pick the best supplier for your store. After you are done and you have found your supplier, for example, you want to find the cheapest uh, price uh, uh, and don't care about these other sections, you select the first one that comes up select it, copy the link from this one, then go into your import list, and here you can add your product by pressing the import or search uh, option, and adding all your product by, by past pasting the link there, you can select it, and then push it to Shopify. After we have pressed this, we also need to make sure we have checked the also published online store box, and then after we have completed all of this, we just press push to Shopify. We wait for it to be pushed. It might th take a bit. So the sta and as you can see, it successfully pushed it to Shopify and my products page also updated. It used to only have the clock, but now it has the soap as well. Let's go to the page, online store, view your online store. Let's go into the catalog, and as you can see, the product is successfully pushed to the page. That is it. After, for example, you don't want to have it anymore, you select the one that is already on Shopify, and you press delete, or select this one and press delete as well. After you have done that, you, you have the next option, which is My Products. You open this up, and you can see the products that are already listed on your Shopify web page. For example, I have only listed the what this watch on my Shopify store, and you can check out everything that is uh, live on your web page, and if they are from AliExpress or not. 
Then moving on, we have open orders. These are orders that have been placed recently by uh, clients of my store. You have pending orders, you have awaiting orders, you have orders that are waiting for payment, awaiting shipment, awaiting fulfillment, and you have stats like fulfilled, cancelled, or, fa or failed orders. The next tab is ar archived orders. This is these are orders that have been fulfilled already and uh, they will be listed here. Uh, then you have tracking. Tracking is an option that needs to be paid for. For example, if you want to give your clients the option to track their uh, shipment, you can upgrade your Deezer's account and it will allow you to add uh, tracking to your website. Then you have the settings there. You, you can work with uh, your settings. You have account. You can work with this. You have a staff account if, something, if you want to add someone. You have suppliers that are added to your account, to your AliExpress account. You have stores that are connected to your account. And for example, you can change the currency right here. You have products. You can edit settings for the products, as you can see. Uh, then you have the pricing rules, you can assign cents, uh, you can use pricing templates, you can use the currency, you can go into shipping, you have, uh, you can turn uh, on this and you can choose a country. Uh, then moving on we have orders, you can use this to add your phone number, to make any uh, necessary settings and changes to your orders. Then you go into package tracking, you can add this, send tracking number to the PayPal or anything related. Then you have notifications and synchronization. That is it basically.